I was accepted to be part of the Soma Summer Program in 2016. A two months long seminar based residency, Soma Summer brings international artists to Mexico City to be exposed to its contemporary art scene, its tumultuous politics, past and present, and its relationship with the US and the rest of the world. Being in Mexico City offers a relief from memory and expectation. It is important for me to step out of the bubble formed by America and the dreams, shattered, that I associated with it. The city is an encapsulation of one space in another, the soaring concrete structures slowly decaying on its own foundations for the lack of funding, Art Deco buildings reminiscent of its European heritage, Mayan and Aztec ruins carefully preserved. Throughout my walks around the city, I started to collect photographs and stories that testify the specificity of Mexico City. Site Specificity 2 was first performed in a studio space at Soma with two projectors. It is an attempt to pick at these different dots and connect the lines between Mexico's layered heritage and competing ideologies. With two projectors, I superimpose images of different sites as they bury and uncover one another. In the restricted space of the studio, my shadow and the shadow of the viewers also intercede on the sites. It is customary for Aztecs to make human sacrifices at each building and renovation. Present day digs for construction would uncover these skulls. The grounds around Templo Mayor is constantly shifting. The archaeologist Eduardo Matos Motezuma told the New York Times, quote, it's the vengeance of the gods. The cathedral is falling, and the monuments to the ancient gods are what's causing it to fall. End quote. Eduardo Abaroa took us to the National Museum of Anthropology. It is here where the dots start to form lines and borders. The museum, built in 1964 by Pedro Ramirez Vasquez, is an epitome of modernist architecture with rational lines and points of symmetry. The central plaza, with its single pillar supporting a large concrete umbrella, is the locus where these lines converge. The ground floor is compartmentalized into all pre-Columbian civilizations located on the current territory of Mexico, as well as in former Mexican territory in what is today the southwestern United States. North, West, Mayan, Gulf of Mexico, Oaxaca, Mexico, Toltec, and Teotihuacan. The permanent expositions on the first floor show the culture of Native American population of Mexico since the Spanish colonization. The colonization period resulted in the import of European modernist architecture to Mexico City, especially Art Deco. On the Avenida Amsterdam, in the neighborhood of La Condesa, where I was living, the buildings boast of their beauty by incorporating Mayan and Aztec motifs in the steelworks of Art Deco style. I happened to be staying at an architect's home and he generously lent me his copy of Una Puerta al Art Deco, published by UNAM, Galleria Universitaria Aristos in 1980, in which Javier Esqueda's introductory essay, An Insight into Art Deco, describes these buildings as, quote, monuments to the economic, social, and political progress of our time, end quote. I present in this format the current state of my findings. I invite you to ponder together on what constitutes site specificity, whether it embodies a nation or in fact complexifies a space of inheritance.